Hey guys, Dreadbane joined by Sapphire. Now we've got game two between Oxygen, the Blue Terran, and his opponent, of course, is Legionnaire, the Yellow Protoss. Now game two is on Metalopolis, and we saw a crazy game one, sir. Yeah, really, yeah. Interesting opening there by Oxygen, just going r completely all in straight away, even cutting SCV production to try and get as many troops out as possible, then bringing SCVs to attack with him. So, curious as to what Legionnaire's going to be able to do here, because this is best of three and uh, he's not going to be able to go for that tech opening that he tried last time. I think he'd be going to be a little bit more cautious. And of course, this is Legionnaire we're talking about. So I expect that uh, we'll see something a, a little bit uh, more defensive from Legionnaire, perhaps. But, you know, Oxygen, more power to him. He's got uh, one game up on Legionnaire right now and not choosing to wall off. Wants to get that uh, SimCity on the side there, possibly even now able to throw uh, a barracks on either side uh, to get a nice uh, ability to pocket marines on either side. So there's an int interesting choice here by Oxygen. Curious as to what he's going to go for. He's going to go for the same build again and just go for that really, really early uh, marine marauder rush there. But I'm uh, super excited here because uh, <laughs> Oxygen is a very off-the-dial player and I can't wait to see more of him. Yeah, I wonder what that does to Legionnaire. Now he has to account for this early crazy SCV, early push basically, just straight up uh, early pressure. So I don't know, we'll have to see Oxygen really just building his barracks, now getting his refinery. So he's looking a bit more steadily so far as um, his scout goes the wrong way at least initially. So Oxygen will not find him straight away at least as... Um, Really, now the scouting probe is going out, so uh, they're going to find each other ideally at the same time. Yeah, looking like they might do a little bit of a worker high five as they go fast. But interesting thing is Metalopolis, I've, I find uh, it's it's a little bit more balanced. It's con widely considered to be the only real tournament quality map that's even for most races. And uh, right now we do see those workers hanging out with each other. Curious that uh, Legionnaire threw down a 14 gas on uh, this map really, really early as he gets his second gateway before a cybernetics core. Not quite sure what's going on there um, with, with Legion as built here because he's going to get lots and lots of gas before he gets his cybernetics core online, which is coming online now. And uh, Oxygen is going to scout all this, whereas we're seeing Oxygen opening very, very similar. Got that early marine out to the nice scout, throwing down the tech lab, getting that barracks out. Curious if he's going to immediately start pumping marines or actually get an add-on, because it's looking like a very similar opening from Oxygen right now. And Legionnaire is uh, mixing it up to uh, possibly get more units online to uh, combat how aggressive uh, Oxygen has been playing. Yeah, now the first Zola that's about to be um, coming out as the bunker already going down. So Oxygen looking to uh, finish what he started in the first game with this bunker rush as this zealot is now going to find it when he walks out. Maybe not. It doesn't look like he's going to walk outside of his base. So the bunker will actually go down. Uh, so that's a huge win there as now the first Marine is walking across this map. He's going to make it to this bunker. So Oxygen with the crazy play. Yeah, problematic for Legionnaire here. He is actually contained, and uh, he's going to have to watch it because he doesn't know about it. He's playing very, very defensive. The mind game's clearly working for uh, Oxygen right now, and he's got a nice little bunker off with a Marine sitting in it. No SCV. The SCV is even going home, so he's not going to go for a bunker crawl advance. He just wants to get that in position, know exactly what Legionnaire's doing. Legionnaire himself throwing down a pylon in the smoke here, and that will actually deny your vision. And we're seeing Legionnaire thinking about taking this uh, bunker out. No, he's just going to walk completely past, take the dents on his shields, and just looking like he may even be aggressive right here. W that early gas has allowed him to get two very fast stalkers out, so maybe he's just going to completely attack right now and force Oxygen to go defensive. I, don't, I like that play, actually. He's just going to forget about that bunker. As this one Marine's actually going to go inside the base, leaving the safety of that as this Zealot's now chasing him around. Um, so he's forced him to get out of that bunker, so now he can take it uh, quite easily because there's nothing left defending it now. So uh, good early choice there by Legionnaire. It's just a small thing, but it, it really got him that, you know, basically got him out of that contain. Yeah, sneaky little probe running a marathon there, basically. Although Oxygen getting online a starport at the back of his base, continuing to add on uh, barracks, got a decent amount of marauders, probably going to be too much of a deterrent for uh, Legionnaire to take right now. Curious if we're going to see any hidden tech coming up at this pylon. The good thing about this pylon is this smoke wall does not give you vision, so this pylon on this side means that he'll be able to pick up on drops right now, and it's looking like we may see drops coming out from Oxygen, who's getting a, a Hellion online. I'm really interested to see what uh, this starport throws down, whether it goes straight into Medivac or throws down a Tep Lab, and it is that Medivac. I think we may see drops, because there's not very far for these units to go across. These medevacs can just scoot quite across and get drops online really quickly. But while this is going on, Legionnaire 
taking an expansion away from his natural, so being a little bit sneaky there himself, while we see uh, Robotics Facility coming on, needs to get that Observer out, but this Medivac is almost done, and considering how aggressive Oxygen is, I would not be surprised if we see these Hellions immediately loaded into this Medivac. It would be crazy to see as as you they look like they're about to go in there now, just as you said that, Seth. So now this medevac's gonna scoot across here, very very short distance, and gonna do some damage to this probe line. And there's really the two stalkers there to defend it. So we'll have to see how this one works out for oxygen. Yeah, it's curious that he's going with three. Four is the one shot uh, number. So looking like he's trying to get some damage on these probes, taking out a few nice probes, forcing Legionnaire to bundle them right down, that's what Oxygen was, taking out quite a lot right there, one Hellion with eight kills, nine kills, as well as a bunch of kills on the other Hellion, so lots of SCVs going down for Legionnaire, and you look at the saturation on his main right now, it's absolutely terrible, so that was really nice execution, he did really uh, much better with just three Hellions than I thought he would, still keeps the medevac somehow, and that's always a key thing for Terran, those medevacs are a decent whack of investment, and as well as costing a uh, decent amount of, of, of minerals, it's the gas cost and Terran's uh, abilities and units, they just cost so much gas, so it's good for uh, uh, any Terran player to preserve that, but Legionnaire, go out and uh, observe it right here in uh, Oxygen Space, gotta be careful that we don't see a scan go off, luckily for him, Oxygen doesn't have the mana, because he would uh, completely scan that and take that out instantly, I would find, but right now, Legionnaire, just looking at the economic difference, still up by two harvesters despite the fact he has an expansion and he's been corona boosting probes out of two locations so right now i'd say that oxygen is uh, quite ahead as we see a raven coming online as well as that um robotics facility finally producing uh, an immortal there's a raven so good against these stalkers on the field of course and it's going to be able to take that that observer without using that scan too so good choice there by oxygen there's really now he's got these ghosts in this mix he's got a good amount of forces here with all these barracks building these units constantly he's getting himself supply box actually he's building so many so uh, meanwhile the Legionnaire did get its expansion it hasn't been found